some Igbo youth in Nigeria and the diaspora have petitioned the British High Commission in Abuja to open Namdi Kano's case file for Britain to investigate all the allegations against him over his incitement of violence in Nigeria by allegedly ordering his group Eastern Security Network to attack police and military personnel in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The leader of the group, Mr. Chukuma DK, also alleged that Kano is sending youth to go and die unnecessarily. We don't want Nambe Kano to be killing our people again. Our people have died enough. He has no agenda. He has no plans. What we want is just a peaceful society. Nambe Kano is sending the youth to go and die unnecessarily. He brags that he has atomic bombs. He has this, he has that, and the youth believe him. He has nothing. Kano is hiding in the United Kingdom. He's a British citizen. So we are here today at the United Kingdom High Commission to submit a letter to the High Commissioner that their citizen is causing problems here in our country. When I announced that I was coming here, they threatened to kill my mother and my younger ones. As I am talking to you, I don't know whether the plan is still on the ground. We are reporting him to British High Commissioner so that he will take it to the Queen and let her know that our citizen is causing problem for us. Chukuma claimed that Kanu told them to boycott Nigeria elections, which they agreed to, only for Kanu to collect money two days to the election. He said, go to all my social media pages. You will see threats everywhere. We have said before that we don't want Kanu's pattern in our country. He told us to boycott election, which people accepted. Two days to the election, he collected money and said referendum documents had been signed, sealed and delivered. He said after the election, we are going to have it. It's over three years now. He is still telling us to fight for referendum. Which referendum again? His next strategy now is killing policemen and soldiers in the southeast. How can you kill security operatives and expect them to keep quiet? The police kid are their colleague and some are their bre uh, best friends. The worst part of it is even that the police and soldiers that are being killed are also from the so-called Biafra. He sent his people to kill anyone that says anything or goes against his policies. Enough is enough. We have had enough of Kanu and we are saying no to him. The only way we can register our grievances is to go to his country, Britain, because that is the passport that is using so we are today at the british embassy to say that we are not happy with kano what kano with what kano is doing ipop is registered in britain we are calling for independent investigation to look into all the activities of kano kano has buried many people alive in the southeast he has sent his talks to kill many people today we the Igbo youth of nigeria and the diaspora are here to protest that Namdi Kano's case file must be opened in Britain to investigate all the allegations written in a letter and everything about him so that we can have a peaceful society. We are not slaves. We are free men. Like, seriously? Hmm. Okay. Um, this is coming from a Igbo group asking Britain to investigate, investigate IPOP and Namdi uh, I pop leader Namdi Kano. Well, no amount of prayers will save Nigeria from breaking up. Among hundred heroes, there will always be thousands of cowards. God bless Mazen Namdi Kano. I stand with Biafra. I blame the I pop principal officers, not only Namdi Kano. Reason because many has been called Sabu, including the recent DJ. Yet this year is for cleansing. Yet nothing happens. In as much as I like IPOP, it is wisdom for youth to mind their business TD. Appointed time comes. The more the days, the more enemies created. To be independent from a tyrant country like Nigeria is not easy. And if Igbo people will succeed this agitation, there must be life lost. Uh, did um did know that uh, did know that uh, this canoe is working Yoruba people from their slumber okay he never forced anybody to do anything we have the right to self-defense if nigeria that is sending our youth to early grave 
okay it is nigeria that is sending nigeria to early grave tell them to stop mm. may god restore peace in our land we all have a role to play even our comment here matters i have stopped joining issues with the enemies of great of this great uh, country uh the youths is sent to their early graves are the most brainless youths i have ever seen in my life how would inabdekano be outside the country with his family and dictating to what to do dictating to you to what uh, what you need to do hmm. where well, uh he will not come back and it will be it will be the bia france and we the bia france are okay with it this one is saying that now they should come back and do the job yerima abbas how can dead buhari be in a shallow grave in saudi arabia and be ruling over 50 million illiterate northerners what a shame is buhari in bono with army fighting okay he was in his house and they came and be dancing python dance and he danced eagle dance and fly to wonderful land how is it your business we like it like that you hear he didn't just travel and up to today they are telling us that uh, there was nothing uh, in like invasion in his company which it actually happened see what happened to or what or what is happening or what just happened to the lawyer the same thing they did to him the same thing they did to him of course if Namdi Kano was to be in Nigeria by now of course he would not be in his house it would be in, inside 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 prison and you know what that means maybe this thing would have been long gone nothing we would nobody would be hearing about Biafra the way it's being heard now and uh, people don't even I don't know who is this a uh, Namdi Kano that is sending Fulani Esme to keep people all over the country is it Namdi Kano that is giving that order the people who are there well they are the ones who are there who know what they are facing and this issue of a uh, killing police uh, this in i think uh, if namdekano and his people are not the ones behind it they should make their voices to be loud they have been coming out of the telling us that uh, they don't know anything about it they should they should intensify it the more because the government is sending us that narrative so loudly so everybody's believing that oh yeah what do you expect worry to do when these people are killing themselves they are doing this they are doing that people don't even they don't there's no no proper um uh, 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 investigation the government will just tell you this and you begin to run with it you begin to ask yourself why is this, this why is this that these people are doing this why should they be doing that people are not even thinking it's be, even the so-called educated ones you just be wondering that why should these people engage in this kind of a thing but when they talk about fulani sp that this is what they are they are the the reason why they established their eastern security network concerning fulani sp nobody says anything nobody talks anything when fulanis are going around i'm sure it is the same name that gave a fulani sp order to go and massacre the gogon people up to today the governor of that state said they are going to arrest. Till today they cannot arrest. But the day Gula was killed, immediately they began to kill people. They said they arrested and, and what have you. The son has come out to say, forget all those uh, stories that say uh, you are saying that the uh, ego say killed uh, his father. That that is not the truth. That they should go for the for the for the people who perpetrated uh, perpetrated that uh, evil. They won't do that. Up to now, the governor is now still begging Buhari that please oh um allow us to have ak-47 and people are like is this man really serious